Hello Leo, welcome to another reading. This is going to be a reading all about how your person is currently thinking or feeling about you or this connection. As always, it's meant to be a general reading, so just take what resonates, what applies to your situation, and leave the rest. So let's jump in, Leo. I'll start with some romance angels here for Leo, please, spirit, for Leo. Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, commented, subscribed. I really appreciate it. I read all of the comments, good and bad. And while I can't respond to all of them, I do read them. So thank you to everyone that takes the time to do that. All right, for Leo, please. Let's see what we got for you guys. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. What else for Leo? Oops. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. I'm going to take this one too because we both wanted to come out. Forgiving and learning. I keep getting this card. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. I think what's happening now with the planetary shifts there's a lot of looking at the past, forgiving, moving on, new cycles, all of that is just, it keeps coming out in these readings. Okay, let me just do this so you guys can see. Move this a little bit. Okay. So yeah, I, I'm getting a lot of these cards in, in these readings. And we got attraction at the bottom, which is another card I keep picking up. For me as a reader, that's a card about manifestation, the law of attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So it's almost like there's a magnet, you know, there where you are thinking about love, wanting love and attracting love into your life. So let's see for Leo Spare, any other messages regarding love for Leo, please? Other messages regarding love. Interesting. I keep seeing the patience card. That's another common theme is timing. Everything in like it's either not the right time or waiting for the right time or in time something will take place. So we'll see what your reading is about today, Leo. For Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising. I read it. What does Leo need to know? Okay. Magician in the mirror. So again, manifestation, having all of the tools at your disposal to make something happen. Woman holding a coin. This is very queen of pentacles energy, um, stability, opportunity. And then we got rest and rejuvenation. He looks like he's meditating on this card, almost like sitting and thinking reminds me a lot of like uh the four of swords in the tarot also one in nine is a ten that's completion um i'm seeing also a, a theme about endings culminating um events things like that so let's see what we have for you leo in the tarot I'm using the Lightseer's Tarot. Um, this was the energy oracles up here and I have all the decks that I use linked down below if you're curious. For Leo, please. In regards to love, what does Leo need to know? In regards to love. We do reversals on this channel. If you don't understand tarot reversals, please save your comments and go to another reader because I don't control the cards that come out. Otherwise, what would be the point of this channel if I already knew it was going to come out? Um, you know, it's the message is the message. It's whatever the message is supposed to be. And if it's a whole spread on reversals, that's what I'm going to talk about. And reversals are not bad cards. It just means the message is different. That's literally all that reversals mean. All right, so let's get into it for Leo spirit in regards to love when it comes to love. 
Emperor. Aries energy, Four of Cups reversed, a change of heart. I just heard when I looked at this card, I heard they want something or you want something, Leo. This emperor wants something. Okay, anything else for Leo in regards to love? I am getting the sense of um, It's almost like this woman holding a coin. It's almost making me think of the Four of Pentacles where someone's holding back, which is weird to say because the Queen of Pentacles is very giving and generous. So I don't know why I'm feeling this when I look at this woman holding a coin, but she's reminding me of the Four of Pentacles, someone holding back, someone, it's almost like she has a secret. Or is holding something valuable that only she knows about. Ten of Pentacles. Long-term stability. Security. Family. This is a card of um, two part or a partner and children. They even have a dog in there too. So it's almost like a, 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 a family unit here. Between this connection. So... This spread is going to be either about you, Leo, or the person you are in a connection with or will be in a connection with. So I could be talking about you or them or both of you because that's how energy works. There's no black and white in tarot where it's just like, this is Leo only, you know, that's not how tarot works. So either you are in a family unit or your person is in a family unit. And it looks like it's a, it's a connection that you, that they've, Whoever's in this connection has been in it for a, a long time. Enough time so like maybe even children are involved. Tell me more for Leo. This could also be what you're working towards, Leo. A long-term commitment, family, stability. Queen of Pentacles showed up reverse. Interesting. Right under the Emperor. It's like the emperor wants something, but the queen, this queen of pentacles reverse is not giving anything. And that's the energy I'm picking up here. There's no coincidences. <laughs> There's a reason I was looking at this queen of pentacles the way that I was like the four of pentacles, which is holding back. This queen of pentacles reverse completely holds back. They have nothing to give. They have no resources. They have um, bad money management, bad they make bad choices because they're only thinking about, it's like they focus on the wrong thing. This Queen of Pentacles reverse could also be someone that's going through hard times. They don't have uh, finances or they're dependent on someone else. And so they're unable to give. Queen of Pentacles reverse also thinks of themselves only. Sometimes it's necessary to be selfish, but... Other times, you know, when you're in a partnership, being selfish is not a good thing. So we'll see. I'm going to clarify all of these. So we'll get into the messages more in a little bit. But that's what I'm seeing so far. What else for Leo, please? Queen of Swords reverse. Another queen. Under the Four of Cups reverse. This Queen of Swords. There's two messages I'm, I'm getting. Four of Cups Reverse is, symbolizes or represents a change of heart, a change of mind. Something that you didn't want in the past, all of a sudden you want now. Something you weren't interested in before, all of a sudden you're interested in now. So either someone was interested in this Queen of Swords and is no longer interested in them or vice versa, but I'm thinking it's the first because this Queen of Swords is pissed or this Queen of Swords is having a change of heart. But I really think it's the first instance. Someone was into this Queen of Swords at one time and is no longer into them or no longer, you know, they're changing their mind about them and this Queen of Swords doesn't like it. I hope that made sense, but... Queen of Swords reverse, Queen of Pentacles reverse. These are not good energies to be dealing with. 
I think this emperor is dealing with them both. Or it could be the same person. It could be the same person exhibiting these two energies here. Queen of Swords reverse, uh, bad communicator, vindictive, petty, hard to talk to, extremely closed off, extremely guarded, brutal in the way that they speak. Um, sometimes they twist the truth. What else for Leo? So whoever's dealing with these queens is not having an easy time of it. Page of Wands reverse. Page of Wands reverse. Um, never finish what they start. Uh, they start a bunch of things, but they don't really finish it. They make promises they can't keep. They're unable to have a new beginning, have a new start. Um, their creativity is blocked. Bottom of the deck at four of wands. So this has to do with a home, a family. And I keep getting, I don't know why, but the last couple of readings I've done, I've done air signs and earth signs. Um, a lot of readings about third parties and families. It's a lot of readings about like reveals or realizations. We'll see if your reading is similar, but I think it's what's happening in the universe. You know what the planetary shifts, the upcoming eclipse, all these things that are happening. Um, 2020 is a weird year when it comes to planetary shifts and I'm no astrologer guys. This is just what I watch on other channels. Um, if any of you watch any interesting astrologers, then please let me know in the comments. Um, try not to link the actual YouTube channel because YouTube will hide your comment as spam. So just tell me their names, you know, and I'll look them up. Okay. Anyways, Emperor, tell me about this Emperor. I'm going to be using the same deck to clarify the Emperor, please. Why is this Emperor? What does this Emperor want? Because this Emperor wants something. Three of Wands reverse. This is that timing situation I was telling you about. Um, either this is someone that missed the boat or is impatient over something, does not want to wait any longer or waited too long. We'll see. Anything else for this emperor? Anything else for this emperor, please? Aries energy here with this emperor. What do we need to know, spirit? Show me what I need to see about this emperor, please. Eight of Pentacles. Work, effort, resources. What else can you tell me about this emperor? Hard work pays off is what I'm hearing. Another card about timing. Seven of Pentacles reverse. So waste. this emperor feels they've wasted their time. They've put in work, but it hasn't paid off. They are possibly trying to have something else here, something else they're working on. Six of Wands at the bottom. So it's almost like, oh yeah. And then Justice reverse right after that with the Fool, another Aries card. So this Emperor has had really bad luck or it has not worked out for them. Something feels unfair, unjust for them. All they want is success and recognition. And instead, you know, it's just either blowing up in their face or the timing isn't right. Or they, you know, this seven of pentacles reverse is about wasting your time because you invested in the wrong place. So nothing has grown. Nothing, you, you haven't been able to harvest any of the, the seeds you've planted. I think this emperor is realizing that things are off balance for them. And it's like they're going to manifest something new here. Maybe they're the ones having a change of heart. Tell me about this Four of Cups reverse. What's this Four of Cups reversed about? Three of Pentacles. Another card about work and effort. What else can you tell me about this Four of Cups reverse? For real, please. 
Five of Swords reverse. There's been deception here or a bad loss. Ace of Cups. Yeah, someone has changed their mind and they want to go after new love. The Ace of Cups is new love. A new beginning in love, self-love, emotional fulfillment. There, this could be a third party situation. There's three people here. So there could be um, cho choosing one over the other. Also, this person here looks like a child in this deck. Typically, it's not a child in the traditional tarot, but in this deck, it looks like a child. So again, this, this idea of children. Some of you can definitely have children with someone or the person you're interested in has children. But this Five of Swords reverse, this is basically someone that's not able to take advantage of a situation. Their deception doesn't work. They're not able to uh, take um, to uh, win. You know, the Five of Swords upright is trying to win at all costs, um, trying to be, you know, outsmart someone through deception. That's the Five of Swords upright. And it's all about failure, the Five of Swords. The person has not, you know, it's, it's even if they've won the battle, they've lost the war. Okay, so when it's reversed, someone was not able to win. Uh, they lost something very important or, you know, it's it's a it's a loose, loose situation, basically. Uh, this could also symbolize a very bad fight or very bad uh, deception. You know, it's a decept it's deception that destroys something. So whatever deception this was has caused someone to change their heart or change their mind about something they've had they're having a change of heart they're having possibly regrets too and now it's like they want to work on or choose new love and again I'm, I'm just picking up this energy down here of this queen of swords they're very upset the world at the bottom so this is all about new cycles new beginnings new this is new love this is not someone choosing the past here unless the path unless the past sorry can't talk unless the past is it's so distant past that it's going to feel like completely new love if that makes sense tell me about this ten of pentacles high priestess reverse again with this secret coming out energy tell me more about the ten of pentacles not reverse, but the Ten of Pentacles, please, for Leo. What's this Ten of Pentacles about? High Priest is reverse. This is someone that's speaking out, something coming out that has not been spoken or communicated or um, a secret that has been revealed or expressed. Empress reverse. So we have a partnership here, Emperor and Empress. For me as a reader, when one of them is upright and the other one is reverse, they're, they're not good for each other. They don't go well together. There's a rift, a, a disconnect between them. Um, this emperor wants to manifest, but this empress is unable to manifest anything. This empress is reversed because she possibly feels like a jilted lover. That's to me, that's what the emperor's reverse means. Um, she is stressed and uh, invests in the wrong thing. This emperor's reverse. She puts all her, her eggs in the wrong basket. She's controlling, smothering. But more than anything, she's just unable to create something new. Unable to give birth to anything here. So it's almost like this family unit was unable to be nurtured, unable to grow, unable to become something stable. Because the emperor and the empress upright symbolize a stable home, a stable uh, union. They've been together for a long time. They have children. 
They have dominion over, you know, the kingdom. They're very secure in their status. Tell me about this Ten of Pentacles. Someone could have also been ignoring their intuition about their partner. This emperor possibly didn't know something about his empress or did not was not listening to their intuition regarding the empress, you know? Um, okay, I'm going to pick that up just like I see on the ground and it's upright. Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords is movement, fast movement, fast truth, fast communication. Uh, comes in quick. Uh, this re revelation is going to move things quick or whatever comes out here, whatever is realized here. It's going to come in quick. I have the Knight of Wands at the bottom reverse. So this is something that is very impulsive, uh, non-committal, unreliable. Knight of Wands reverse, you can't count on them to stay for anything or finish anything. Um, so I feel like this is in connection to whatever's being communicated quickly or whatever communication is happening quickly. It has to do with a lack of commitment. Interesting. And then I have the Queen of Wands here, another queen. A lot of people here. I have Emperor, Empress, Queen, Queen. Again, there could be, you know, two of the same. It could be um, two people instead of four. But for, for some of you, there's definitely four people involved here. This Knight of Swords in this deck in, uh, in particular, it looks like he's running to his motorcycle because he has something he needs to communicate right now. Okay, let's look at these queens down here. Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles, please, reverse. You tell me. Also, notice these two cards, sorry, it's just I see things as I'm shuffling. These two queens, or these two cards, they're holding something very similar, like with both hands. I don't think, I don't believe in coincidences. So I'm mentioning it because I really do feel like this is a new opportunity. Someone's holding something back or holding something important in here. Is unable to give it or, or wants to give it? Let's see. What else can you tell me about this Queen of Pentacles reverse, please, for Leo? Can you tell me, Spirit? Ace of Swords. Another Ace. Clarity. Truth. Communication. What else for this Queen of Pentacles? Reverse. What else can you tell me, Spirit? This Queen of Pentacles. Reverse. Knight of Wands. Reversed. Again. This Queen of Pentacles either wasn't able to commit or someone couldn't commit to them. Someone was unreliable. She's unreliable. What else can you tell me about this Queen of Pentacles? What else can you tell me? Nine of Wands. Again, I'm getting the sense of a long time or uh, time has passed here. Enough to have someone be like tired, fed up. Um, this is someone guarded, someone who is very, um, they, they have a hard time trusting. There's paranoia almost. And I think it's because they're dealing with this Knight of Wands reversed. Someone they can't count on, someone that's it's always an issue with them. And then we have the Ace of Swords. This is all about cutting away truth, clarity, a new beginning, victory. I feel like this Queen of Pentacles is holding back or is unable to give because they're fed up. They're, they're feeling like they can't count on someone, that they can't trust someone. And it's like they know they can't trust them. What's at the bottom of the deck? Ace of Pentacles, my goodness. 
This is new, 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 new opportunities, new beginnings. It's almost like this change of heart, this reveal, this movement is bringing in new opportunities. And this is being manifested by someone. It's almost like they're praying for it. Meditating on it, thinking hard about what it is they want. I feel like maybe this Queen of Pentacles is someone that is not reliable. This, they, They're unable to give anything to this connection. Possibly because a lot has happened in the connection. But in any case, they're not giving anything. They don't have the resources. They're dependent on someone else. And it's like someone wants to cut this out or is over this. Tell me about this Queen of Swords. And they want a new opportunity. Tell me about this Queen of Swords reverse. Magician reverse. King of Cups. Another person here. What else about this Queen of Swords? Reverse, please. Hierophant. Taurus energy, water energy here. Bottom of the deck, the Knight of Cups. The third knight that we have here. Again, this Queen of Swords is almost like they're trying to manifest. It's like they have a lot of emotion or love for someone. They want commitment. They're possibly in a marriage or in a long-term commitment with someone. Uh, they want stability. They're trying to manifest this, but it's not working. Um, it could also be that they're they're trying to manifest this for the wrong reasons, and that's why it's not working. Because the Magician Reverse can be a manipulative energy. They could be trying to manipulate a situation, and 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 it's for the wrong reason. So it's not working out for them. Um, 